So I'm back in the woods now. Uh, I'm using this cherry tree. It fell two a month ago or something. And well, what we have here is now trees hanging here. There, there. So it's suspended like this. And I will cut it here to reduce the size. And so we have tree collapsed like this here. And then hopefully we're going to get, get pieces from here, nice straight piece, and, another, uh, and some pieces here to make spoons. So how to do it? Let's, let's see. First, we're going to just start cutting. This uh, silky saw, it's a Japanese pull saw, so, so you cut on the pole. This. So now this is a problematic piece because it's going to collapse on my, my saw here and bite it. We can do a couple of things. We can undercut it like this, which we're going to do a little bit. Something to show you. Gonna eyeball it. But that's a harder way to do it. So we're gonna get back here, try to get so back. What I'm going to do now is just take this. This is a trash, Chinese trash. So I had the uh, axe head, so don't worry. We're not using any proper uh, axes and so. We're just going to do this. We opened up the cut and we cut off. You get the rhythm going. It's it's like a like a steam steam engine, you see. This is the motion. I'm just boom. Nice, long pull. Are we gonna make this come in even more? Boom, and that's it. Easy. Now, this is a nice straight piece, and it's still hanging here, so we're gonna cut that off here. We're gonna have a nice straight piece for spoons.